Now, medical practitioner Tuyi Mebawondo joins me via Skype to speak more on the issue. Good to have you join us on News Now. Now, the NCDC Thank has said you. one in every five persons in Lagos have been infected with COVID-19. What does this mean for the health of the state and the nation at large? Well, some of us are not surprised because at the beginning of this COVID pandemic, we highlighted the importance of testing, adequate testing. So, um, again, most of the figures being reeled out on a daily basis by NCDCD, uh, NCDC was, was just based on those ones that were tested. But we've seen clear symptoms and signs of COVID-19 running through the whole population in Lagos. Loss of taste, loss of smell, or severe headache, body ache. So what it means is that our planning, our planning either for vaccination or means of mitigating the, the adverse effect of the virus should as cut across as many populations as possible. It should let us help us to target as minimum 70% of the population. If, for instance, they're going to give vaccine, for instance, if you are going to deploy non pharmaceutical interventions, you have to figure out that you are covering as much as 70% of the population. Okay, should we be worried about this information? Or what do you think we should start doing urgently in the country? Uh, again, um, of course, it should be a concern for us. Uh, because what it means is that as we are having mutant strains of the virus, as we, the mutant strain can either be more transmittable or can be more can, can lead to more severe infection. So what it means is that our plan should be geared towards as many people as possible. Now, um, if you look at the vaccine that we're going to deploy, the AstraZeneca vaccine, the variant that was created in South Africa, and if we also observe that as much as two thirds of the patients. Um, will not be protected by the AstraZeneca vaccine, then it means that if we are going to have one in five Lagosians being infected, that are as much as four million people, that let's, we can project that to the country. We're looking at uh, as much as uh, uh, 40 million people, you know, having the virus in Nigeria. So our deployment of our vaccine should mean that we should cover as much as 70, 80 million people. If we're, it's going to be meaningful. Now, if this is not a time to stop or reduce our campaign about the COVID-19. Rather, we should deepen it and take it to the grassroots as much as possible. And let people realize that the fact that you are not manifesting yet does not mean that you are not having the virus. And more importantly, the fact that you are not showing severe disease that doesn't mean that you cannot show severe disease tomorrow because the virus rotates. Anything is possible in the virus that is constantly mutating. Well, medical practitioner Tuyi Mebawondu speaking on the latest survey by the NCDC on COVID-19. Thank you for talking to us.